morning. We had a wonderful session where Gaurang Prabhu took us in a very wonderful yatra as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took from Jagannath Puri on his way to South India Yatra. We heard how he had a wonderful dealing with so many of his devotees, Nityanand Prabhu, Jagadananda Pandit, Mukunda and Damodar Pandit, how he was glorifying all these devotees, but on the pretext of you know, finding faults, he was glorifying all of them. And then we heard how uh, Sarabham Bhattacharya, he was very, very affectionate and he didn't want Mahaprabhu to go, but Mahaprabhu, he pleased him, stayed at his home for a few days and then he left. And then he went to so many places and wherever he went, he transformed villages after villages into devotees just by embracing devotees and glancing on them. And now we'll be hearing what happened when Mahaprabhu reached Kobur. So we welcome Gaurang Prabhu by loudly chanting three times. Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. So we also have with us the parents of His Grace Radhika Valla Prabhu. So we welcome them also by very loudly chanting three times. Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on his way from Alarnath travels to different villages and arrives at the temple of Jiyada Narsimha where he chants, dances, offers obeisances and the priest brings garlands and offers to Lord Chaitanya. A Brahman gives invitation to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to spend the night there at that temple. In the morning, Lord Chaitanya gets up and proceeds from Jiya the Narsinga temple towards Godavari. Prabhate uthiya prabhu cholila prema veshe dik vidik nahi jani rat so Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is immersed in the ecstasy of Krishna Prema. He does not know which way he must go. And then he reaches Godavari. And as he takes bath in the Godavari and he comes out and changes his clothes, there is a procession which carries the governor, Sri Ramananda Rai. He is surrounded by brahmanas chanting mantras, offering rituals. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as the personification of Srimati Radharani, could understand that, his, that her eternal associate, Vishaka Devi, Ramananda Rai, is coming that way. Lord Chaitanya was sitting on a rock, awaiting Ramananda Rai to come and meet him. Then, Shri Ramananda Rai waiting at down from the palanquin, he sees the beautiful darshan of Lord Chaitanya. And what he sees is described here. Surya Shata Samakanti Aruna Basan Shubalita Prakanda Deha Tahate Bhushan Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's form appeared to be equivalent to the effulgence of million suns. And his beautiful body was elongated and his hands came up to his knees and his eyes were Kamala Lochan, the shape of lotus petals. Ramanandarai comes forward, offers obeisances to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately picks him up and says, Uthi Prabhu kahe utha kaha Krishna Krishna Tare alingite Prabhu hurdaya satrishna Lord Chaitanya says, get up and chant the names of Krishna and with great affection embraces Ramanandarai. Tathapi puchila Tumirai Ramananda Teho kahe sei huya Dasa Shudramanda. Lord Chaitanya asks him, 
Are you Ramananda Rai? And this is a very significant answer. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is asking, Are you Ramananda Rai? And Ramananda Rai's humility is demonstrated by his response. Teho kahe sehi hoiya dasa shudra mand. I am your servant, I am less intelligent, and I am low born. So Srila Prabhupada mentions that for those who are presenting Krishna consciousness, more important than their scholarship is their humility and meekness. Ramanandra is about to begin speaking on the highest philosophy experienced in Vaishnava history. But why is he qualified to speak such high philosophy? Is because his character is genuinely meek and humble. Yah sarva laukaik mano bhiruchya saubhagya bhu kachita krishta pachya yatra yamaro pana tulya kala sa prema shakhi phalavan atulya. Shri Raghunath Das Goswami is described as someone who was so meek, humble, loving, respectful to the devotees that Manobhi Ruchya, his devotional humility, meekness and divine qualities attracted the hearts of the Vaishnavas in Puri. Saubhagya Bhu and the incessant downpour and rainfall of the shower of their blessings made Sri Raghunath Das Goswami's heart like fertile for bhakti. Akrishta Pachya and therefore that soil was so fertile it did not require any tilling, any ploughing. Yatrayama Ropa Natulya Kala and the moment the seed of bhakti fell in the heart of Raghunath Das Goswami. Sapre Mashakhi Phalavan Atulya and it grows into a beautiful tree and gives the pure fruit of prema instantly. And therefore, this devotional quality of humility and meekness is very important for devotees to follow in their life. Satamayam sara bhritam nisargo yadarthavani shruti cheta samapi pratikshanam navya vada chutasaya striyavetanam iva sadhu varta shrunoshva avahito rajan api guhyam vadamite bruyuhu snigdhasya shishyasya guravo guhyam apyuta Shukadeva Goswami glorifies Maharaj Parikshit as someone who has insatiable appetite to hear Krishna Katha. And one can have such deep desire and appetite to hear Krishna Katha only when one is free from the pride. Because pride impels us to hear more about ourselves. And only when one is truly humble, he will have desire to hear about Krishna. Shrunashva Abahito Rajan. And therefore, Parikshit Maharaj has unbreakable concentration to hear about Krishna Katha. Api Guhyam Badamite. And therefore, Shukadev Goswami says, I am so pleased with you that I want to pour out all my realizations of Krishna Katha to you. Bruyuhu Snigdhasya Shishyasya Guravo Guhyam Apyuta. Great souls are attracted to pour out all of their mercy to a disciple, a devotee who is snigdha. Snigdha comes from the Sanskrit word sneha. Sneha means ghee. The quality of ghee is ghee burns itself to give light to others. Like that a devotee, a disciple who is willing to burn oneself, burns one's desire, burns one's ego, to give pleasure 
to the other devotees, to the gurus, to the parampara, to the mission, becomes very pleasing. And therefore, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was pleased with Ramanandarai even before Ramanandarai began speaking any philosophy because he was attracted by his meekness and humility where he says, Te ho kahe sei hoya dasa shudra manda. And therefore, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraces him. And as both of them embrace each other, Stamba sveda ashrukampa pulaka vaivarnya duhara mukhete shuna gad gad krishna varna. So, all forms of ecstatic symptoms were revealed by both Lord Chaitanya and Ramanandarai. And both were uttering Krishna, Krishna, Krishna as they embraced each other. Now there were the stereotype ritualistic Brahmanas who were accompanying Ramanandarai in that palanquin and chanting the mantras. These Brahmanas had never seen Ramanandarai, their governor, lose control over his emotions like this. It was a first experience for them. And they started analyzing their kings, their governor's behavior by discussing with each other. Ei Maharaja Mahapandita Gambhir Sanyasiras Parashe Mattahoyla Asthir Generally, our Maharaja Ramanandara is very grave, very stable, very mature. But sannyasi ras parsha, by touching this sannyasi, he has become matta and he has become unstable. Why? Ei matta vipragana bhave mane man vijati aloka dekhi prabhu koila samvaran. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw these brahmanas are getting bewildered. Aimata vipragana bhave mone mon. Lord Chaitanya could see within their hearts, within their minds, that they are not able to understand the ecstasy of Ramanandarai. They are aware of Ramanandarai's political position. They are not aware of Ramanandarai's devotional position. And therefore, Lord Chaitanya did not want to bewilder them further. And so both Ramanandarai and Lord Chaitanya controlled their emotions, considering these Brahmanas to be Vijatiya of another Jati. Vijatiya Lokadeki Prabhu Koila Sambaran. Lord Chaitanya controlled his ecstasy. The question arises Lord Chaitanya is named Vishwambhar Mishra. That is his birth name. Father's name Jagannath Mishra. Born in a Brahman family. Originally Lord Chaitanya's forefathers are from a place called Jajpur in Orissa. And so Kamalakant Mishra gets a dream way back in the 1400s that you shift to Silhet. And so he shifts from there to Silhet. Lord Jagannath comes in the dream and orders them. And because he shifts to Silhet, then his son and his son, grandson is Jagannath Mishra. So therefore, you know, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's original ancestry is not from Bengal, it is from Odisha. So amongst Bengali Brahmins, Chattopadhyay, Bandopadhyay, Mukhopadhyay are the typical names. Mishra is the Brahminical name in Urissa. And therefore for Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Jagannath is not just, you know, deity form, but it is his Kuladev also. And therefore, when the, the first Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was in 
So Jagannath Mishra gets married to Sachi because Jagannath Mishra's father, he gets a dream where the Lord appears and says that I am going to manifest in your family in this sannyasi form. So Jagannath Mishra's mother and father both see this dream and then the marriage of Jagannath Mishra is fixed with Shachi Chakravarti, the daughter of Nilambar Chakravarti. And then after marriage, the beautiful deities of Krishna Chandra from Nilambar Chakravarti is given and that deity is brought to Silhet. Jagannath Mishra for the sake of his you know, teaching shifts from Silhet along with Sachi Devi to Navadvip because Navadvip is a place of learning. So Jagannath Mishra's mother, Shobhavati, she says, I will not come but when your son is born who is the incarnation of Jagannath and who will be in the form of sannyasi, please send him to me so that I can have his darshan because he has this beautiful round eyes shaved head, saffron clothes, I want to embrace him. After uh, several children who, are, who die, Vishwarup is born, then Lord Chaitanya is born. In 1502, Lord Chaitanya makes a visit to Bangladesh Silhet specifically to meet his grandmother. And when Lord Chaitanya visits Shobhavati in Silhet at that time, Shobhavati says, the person I saw was in sannyasi clothes, not with long hair. So Lord Chaitanya says, give me some time and allow me some time inside the puja room. So he enters the puja room and closes the door where Krishna Chandra deities are there. And then he had told Shobhavati, do not disturb me for a few days. But Shobhavati hears kirtans and suddenly when the kirtan sounds ends after a few days, she opens the door and there is the beautiful form of the first ever deity form of Lord Chaitanya in sannyasi clothes with shaved heads with chakadola round eyes. And when, you know, he is there in that form and he looks at Shobhavati and says, this is the form you were looking for. She comes and when she embraces Lord Chaitanya in that form, that form becomes the deity form. That is the first ever manifested deity form of Lord Chaitanya on this planet. And so those deities from Silhet during the Bangladesh war are shifted to a place in Assam called Shri Kona. So that deity is still there in Shri Kona where every year in the month of March and April a big festival is held for these deities. So therefore Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is originally from Odisha and during his South India tour there is something significant. The Lord Chaitanya personally carved deities of Jagannath with his hands and every day he was worshipping those deities because they were like his family deities. So therefore Lord Chaitanya is coming from an Odisha Brahman family Mishra clan. But here the verse says, Bijatiya loka deki prabhu koila sambaran. Lord Chaitanya looks at these Brahmana surrounding Ramanandarai and looks at them and calls them Vijatiya. Vijatiya means from a different caste. Lord Chaitanya is Brahman. These Brahmans who are chanting the mantras are Brahman. Ramanandra is actually coming from Shudra class. But Lord Chaitanya is accepting him as Sajatiya. Why? Because they are both connected in Krishna consciousness. And therefore, that's the main principle Prabhupada mentions. One may be a highly learned Brahman if he is not a pure devotee, he is a bijati outside of devotional service. High and low positions in society are calculated by considering a person's Krishna consciousness. So there are eight levels of grading a human being's consciousness. The first level is 
नर मर्यादा नर मर्यादा मीन्स अ ह्यूमन बींग इज रेस्पेक्टेड मोर दैन एन एनिमल सेकेंड इन ह्यूमन बींग्स अमंग्स नर द नेक्स्ट लेवल इज सभ्य तर मर्यादा वन हु इज मोर सभ्य मोर कल्चर्ड इज रेस्पेक्टेड अमंग्स दोज हु आर कल्चर्ड द नेक्स्ट लेवल इज राज मर्यादा वन हु हैज सम पोजिशन kingly influence he is considered higher even amongst many kings who may have political influence the next level is divya maryada kings who may have some divine qualities next level is sadguna maryada when one has divine qualities which make the heart attractive then next is varna maryada one who is within the varnas shudra vaishya kshatriya brahmana then next level of gradation is those who are situated in ashram ashram maryada and highest in all of this is bhakti maryada one who practices krishna consciousness transcends all these different levels eight levels as described by thakur bhakti vinod and bhakti maryada is the highest yana naam adheya shravanaanu kirtanat yat prahvranat yat shravanat api kwachit shwado pi sadya sabanaya kalpate kuta puna kim bhagavannu darshanat devhuti mata says even if one is born in a dog eaters family if one actually takes to krishna consciousness he becomes qualified even to perform yagya swa swadopi sadya savanaya kalpate is qualified to perform vedic yagyas and rituals and therefore vijatiya loka lord chaitanya considers ramanand rai to be sa jatiya his own family member so i remember that in the 90s i used to give shrimad bhagavatam lectures on wednesdays and i began speaking on the first canto so there was one well wisher donor who was like very much into this caste consciousness and he used to respect me and like me not because i was krishna conscious devotee but because i came from brahman family so of course radhanath maharaj also knew him and all of us knew so this was like a anartha in his mind and he couldn't get over it but he wanted to sponsor the prasadam so he looked at me and he said i want to sponsor your prasadam you know uh he said bhagavatam is like what is their theme i said we have 12 cantos so he said well i cannot sponsor prasadam for all 12 cantos i'll sponsor for first canto this was 97 but he didn't realize the first canto went till 2001 for four years after two and a half years he asked me how long this canto will go so one day you know braj bihari prabhu had just joined and uh, i had taken him to meet maharaj and take blessings he was going to get shaved that day so then maharaj gave blessings and then maharaj asked who is going to shave you so then braj bihari prabhu said somebody's name then maharaj looked at me and said you should shave him so i said but maharaj i have never shaved anybody before i'm i'm not confident he says no no you are coming from brahman family it will be good for you to shave so i said okay i don't mind so then i took him below and i was started to shave braj bihari prabhu that is the time when this donor came to meet maharaj the one who sponsors and then as soon as he came into maharaj room maharaj asked him so you know where is your you know brahman born bhagavat kathakar <laughs> he said no maharaj said come with me come with me 
and he took him by the hand and brought him to the bathroom below and i was in my gamcha shaving so this donor when he came and saw me he got shocked he said gorang ji aap nai jaise hajam kar rahe hajabat kar rahe ho i said seva hai so then maharaj kept telling him see see what your brahman is doing <laughs> what your brahman is doing <laughs> so this conception of high born low born all of these things were changed by lord chaitanya mahaprabhu so kaviraj goswami says one of the purposes of lord chaitanya's appearance was sanyasi pandita goner korite garvanash niche shudra dwara kore dharmera prakash sanyasi pandita goner korite garvanash lord chaitanya specifically wanted to destroy the pride of sanyasi and pandits and he empowered those who are in the lower classes of society to spread krishna consciousness right so in this way this is a very very beautiful lesson that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is coming from brahman family of the highest order sanyasi so he is up there in both varana and ashram but lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is now going to sit and become a hearer from ramanand rai who is coming from a lower caste and a politician in terms of his occupation kaha tumi sakshat ishwar narayan kaha moi raj sevi vishayi shudradham ramanand rai is saying my dear lord you are practically sakshat narayan and i am fallen down trodden and you are touching me you are embracing me मोरस्पर्शे न कोरिले घृणा वेद भय मोर दर्शने तुमा वेद निषेध भय द वेदास आर वॉर्निंग यू नॉट टू टच मी नॉट टू कम क्लोज टू मी एट प्रभुपाद से इफ सम वन इज बॉर्न इन अ सो कॉल लो फैमिली बट इफ इज एंगेज इन द लॉर्ड सर्विस ही इज टू बी कंसिडर्ड द हाइएस्ट ही इज टू बी कंसिडर्ड हाई born because ultimately it is our occupation of devotional service which transforms our consciousness so kaviraj goswami says chhota bada bhakt gan vando sabha shri charan sabe more karah santosh swarup gosai ramata roop raghunath jane yat tai likhi nahi mor dosh he says i do not consider low caste high caste i only seek the blessings of chhota bhakt and bada bhakt the youngest devotee the newest devotee the most neophyte devotee and the most advanced devotee i seek the blessings of both chhota bada bhakt gan vando sabar shri charan sabe more karah santosh may all categories of devotees be satisfied and pleased with me swarupa gosai ramata roop raghuna jane jata i am simply a puppet in the hands of the direction and the desire and the will of swarup damodar goswami roop goswami raghunath das goswami raghunath bhatt goswami and i am simply trying to be an instrument in their hands at this point ramanand rai presents himself as fallen and glorifies lord chaitanya mahaprabhu amanistarite tomar iha agaman parama dayalu tumi patita pavan my dear lord i am fallen you have come here to deliver the fallen souls like me you are most merciful parama dayalu and you are patita pavan you deliver the fallen who is patita 
one who knows as per scripture this should be done and this should not be done but still because of weakness of heart he succumbs to sense gratification is unable to stop his temptations and falls down in spite of having the theoretical knowledge he falls down that fallen person is known as patita vedanishta madhye ardhe ek ved mukhe mane ved nishidh pap kare dharm nahi gane and therefore my dear lord such fallen souls are delivered by your grace mohanta swabhava ei tarite pamar nij karya nahi tabo ya tar ghar great souls have no other occupation than to travel around the world spread krishna consciousness deliver the fallen souls janasya krishna vimukhasya daivata dharma shilasya sudukhitasya anugrahayeva charanti nunam bhutani bhavyani janardanasya the people in this world are under the clutches of maya those who are ignorant of krishna consciousness are perpetually in maya those who become sadhakas in krishna consciousness keep intermittently falling into maya and great souls travel to warn both categories of people because maya is so strong daivihi esha gunamai mam maya duratyaya the form of maya is extremely difficult to conquer duratyaya it is daivi it moves under the will of the supreme and therefore one constantly remain needs to remain vigilant because of the influence of maya and so here lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is glorified by ramananda rai that you are traveling to deliver the souls in this world who are under the influence of maya and gargacharya is glorified by nanda maharaj mahat vichalanam rinam grihinam deena chetasam निःश्रेयसाय भगवान्न्यथा कल्पते क्वचि ग्रेट सोल्स ट्रैवल महत् विचलन नृणाम गृहीना दीन चेतसा दोज हूज हार्ट्स एंड कॉन्शियसनेस इज दीन इट्स नैरो माइंडेड इट्स ड्रिवन बाय एनवी इट्स ड्रिवन बाय सेल्फिश एग्रेंडाइजमेंट दीन चेतसा एंड अगेन्स्ट दीन चेतसा द डिवोटीज आर उदार चेतसा they have large hearted they accept the entire creation as part of their family they do not see anyone outside the krishna consciousness family krishna ra sansar karo chhadi anachar jive daya krishna naam sarva dharma sar they consider everyone to be part of krishna's transcendental family and at this point prabhupad mentions in the purport that one should consider that those who engage in the missionary activities of krishna consciousness movement are under the guidance of chaitanya mahaprabhu they may go door to door to introduce a book on krishna consciousness so that people can become enlightenment enlightened by reading so therefore shila prabhupad wrote these books requested the devotees to distribute these books so when we distribute these books by accepting those books reading those books the consciousness changes and that change in consciousness is what lord chaitanya mahaprabhu has appeared for which is very very important when i was you know distributing books in the local train this local train book distribution was actually started by braj bihari prabhu and uh, one more devotee and then sri chaitanya prabhu and others were very much part of that whole scene so for me book distribution is very difficult because i keeps 
standing and talking to the person giving lecture so i showed bhagavad gita to one person in the local train he looked at the gita and he said are my father already has one gita my grandfather brought one more gita i already have two gitas at home i don't need this so i gave him prasadam gave him the temple address and i smiled at him and i thanked him that at least you heard me then i went to the next bogi this guy came running behind me in a few minutes he came to me and said give me the bhagavad gita so i said you just told me you already have gita one from your father one from grandfather why you need one more he said last 6 months my wife is chastising me my father is chastising me my colleagues in office are chastising me everybody is chastising me you are the first person in 6 months who has smiled at me therefore i want the gita from you so i said if i knew i would have laughed and given whole bhagavatam to you but that's the age of kali where people are morose one of our devotee friends very nice devotee is always smiling he has a natural smile on his face so his boss called him once and asked him is there something wrong with you he said sir why you are asking par tum hamesha hasta rehta hai so in kaliyuga to be smiling is considered abnormal to be morose is considered normal therefore prabhupada said go out give these books and when you give these books to others you are planting the doubt in their mind so we don't begin by planting faith we begin by planting doubt you begin by planting doubt what is the doubt they are confident that their way of life is the best but when you go and start speaking krishna consciousness they get doubt kya ho gaya bhaiya beto beto so in australia we had a excellent book distributor he was so confident of distributing books that in one hour he could distribute 50 to 60 bhagavad gitas so there was one company person who was watching him from a distance after 3 4 hours this person called this book distributor and said i am observing you for last 3 4 hours you are selling the books to people who don't need it who don't want it still you are able to convince them i am very impressed i am running a company where i am searching for a marketing and sales head for last 6 months i think you will be the best marketing and sales head and this book distributor looked at him and said do you have bhagavad gita <laughs> he said no he said first buy it so he bought it because he was thinking i have to keep him happy then he took his number and said i'll stay in touch with you okay you read the gita i'll call you in some time he gave his number also after one week this businessman calls the book distributor i have started reading the gita what is your decision about joining my company as marketing and sales head the book distributor said do you have the bhagavatam by then six cantos had come out he says no i am going to send you the six cantos in 3 to 4 weeks he sold him all the books which were published by bbt <laughs> this guy continued buying with the hope that he will join my company after 2 months this book distributor told him don't think we are distributing books because of marketing and sales we are distributing books out of gratitude for what we have received from shila prabhupad our guru he has given us divya gyan and there is no way the divya gyan can be repaid but we try our little bit by sharing this knowledge with others and therefore 
Book distribution is a way by which we express our gratitude to the Acharyas. We express our gratitude to Srila Prabhupada by sharing this with others. Desha kalartha yuktani hrittapa upashamani cha haranti prasabam chittam govinda abhitani me as per time, place and circumstance the meanings are embedded within this literature. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu now turns to Ramananda Rai and says I want to hear Krishna Katha from you. And the verse says that Namaskar Koila Rai Prabhu Koila Alingone Duijana Krishna Katha Koe Rahasthane Both of them sat in a secluded place to hear Krishna Katha. What does Rahasthane or secluded place mean? One of the most important criteria for hearing Krishna Katha is Adhikar. Adhikar means qualification. If one does not have the qualification to hear a particular level of subject, then he should not try to hear that level. And so Rahasthane means Krishna Katha is spoken and Krishna Katha is heard as per the adhikar of those who are involved in the transaction. Parasparanu kathanam pavanam bhagavat yasha mitharati mitha tushti nivratta mitha atmana When we discuss Krishna katha with each other, Parasparanu kathanam pavanam, it has a purifying effect. Mitharati, mitha means Activity in which two people are engaged. The highest pleasure experienced in this world is a transaction between a male and a female which is known as Maithun. On the physical and emotional platform nothing can be higher than that. If one has to transcend that, if one has to transcend the power of sex, there is only one thing which can transcend sex and that is sound. Only sound can counteract the power of sex to make us fools. Therefore, the sound vibration here is only discussed and shared in the company of those who are of a similar adhikar, qualification. And if you have not gone through the basics of Krishna consciousness, gone through the basics of the Bhagavad Gita, then you cannot jump into Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrata and higher topics. Some devotees came and told Prabhupada that a few devotees are gathering every night and discussing Ras Lila. And this was when they were only one year in Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada said, that is not Ras Lila, that is Raskal Lila. Without qualification, they are trying to enter into this. Pujala Ragapate Gaurava Bhange. So Saraswati Thakur would always quote this and Bhakti Rakshak Siddhar Maharaj always quoted this. Pujala Ragapatha Gaurava Bhange. That which is worshipable should be held above the head. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. And therefore bhakti is not an area where one can enter through the heavy fortress of devotional service with weapons of mental speculation. Just because the intelligence is hyperactive doesn't mean bhakti allows entry to the restless intellect. The doors of bhakti are open from within. The doors of bhakti cannot be opened from without. And when it is open from within, it is done by Bhakti Devi herself when she is pleased with the devotee's efforts and is recommended by the Guru and Acharya Parampara. Chaitanya Lira Ratna Sar Swarupera Bhandar Teho Thuila Raghuna Tera Kanthe 
ताहा किचु ये शुनिलो ताहा इहा विस्तारिलो भक्तगणा दिलो ए भेटे लॉर्ड चेतन्य महाप्रभु उस पास टाइम्स वेर सीन ओनली बाय वन ऑफ द गोस्वामीज इन डिटेल फाइव ऑफ द सिक्स गोस्वामीज हार्डली गोट एक्सेस टू लॉर्ड चेतन्य उस पास टाइम्स the only goswami who spent from 1518 to 1534 16 years with lord chaitanya seeing his pastimes closely was ragunath das goswami even in those 16 years ragunath das goswami was kept under the shelter of swarup damodar goswami ragunath das goswami was very much in jagannath puri observing witnessing seeing all the pastimes of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu in person but you will be shocked to know that in 16 years lord chaitanya mahaprabhu allowed ragunath das goswami to talk to him only once and that once ragunath das goswami approached swarup damodar goswami and said so many times i have asked you questions and you have got me answers from lord chaitanya mahaprabhu can i have the privilege of having a direct conversation with lord chaitanya at least once sarup damodar goswami petitions lord chaitanya that this is ragunath das goswami's desire lord chaitanya mahaprabhu becomes angry and he says why does he want to talk to me directly i have already put him under your shelter sarup damodar goswami begs him only once my dear lord lord chaitanya then instructs ragunath das goswami on the principles of renunciation vairagya and that's the content in the 6th chapter of antalila bhala na kahibo bhala na poribo all of those instructions are given by lord chaitanya at that time so therefore ragunath das goswami saw lord chaitanya mahaprabhu's past times directly and when lord chaitanya mahaprabhu ended his past times ragunath das wanted to commit suicide Devotees in Puri said, "At least go to Vrindavan and take blessings of Rupa and Sanatan before committing suicide." So he comes all the way to Vrindavan. He meets Rupa and Sanatan, and says, "I want to climb to the top of Govardhan and jump from there." Rupa and Sanatan tell him, "If you are feeling separation from Lord Chaitanya, you mitigate that suffering by speaking Krishna Katha. Express your love by speaking about Krishna." My Lord Chaitanya, all of us were completely bereft of those past times. We could never see those past times. Devotees would love to hear those past times. So Raghunath Das Goswami sits on the bank of Radha Kund and begins speaking, Gaur Lila, Chaitanya Lila, Ratna Sar, Swarupera Bhandar, and all of these past times which are kept in the treasure house of Swarup Damodar Goswami. Te ho thuila Raghuna te rakante. And Raghunath Das Goswami had had those pastimes within his throat. Taha ke chhu ye shunilo, taha iha vista rilo. Kaviraj Goswami says, "I have no qualification, but whatever I heard from Raghunath Das in that assembly of Vaishnavas, that only I am trying to share." Bhakta gana dilu ei bhete. I am simply trying to give this as gifts to the devotee community. and therefore krishna consciousness means that we follow the acharya parampara guru parampara gyani means to use one's intelligence one's mental speculation and try to achieve krishna using one's own mental speculation and intelligence and brain power karma means to try to impress krishna with one's achievements yoga means to try to impress krishna with perfection bhukti mukti siddhi kami sakala ashant krishna bhakt nishkam at eva shant and therefore when one accepts the desires of the vaishnavas as one's desire 
then one becomes peaceful because one has no independent desire jnana avalambaka kechit kechit karma avalambaka vayam tu haridasanam pada tran avalambaka some people want to achieve perfection through jnana others want to achieve perfection through karma but vayam tu haridasanam pada tran avalambaka we take shelter of the footwear of the vaishnavas because their desire becomes my desire and that is the qualification for ramananda rai to be speaking to lord chaitanya mahaprabhu in a secluded place because a person with a restless mind and a volatile intellect will commit spiritual suicide by living in a solitary place a volatile intellect and a restless mind also becomes the seed for all kinds of conflict with other vaishnavas so a fertile brain restless mind becomes a recipe for disaster for a devotee to be able to stay in the vaishnav sang and it becomes a misguided missile and it becomes difficult to be handled and hence one requires to be purified of anarthas and after only a certain level of purification of anarthas one can actually even appreciate the glory and the power of the vaishnava sang and appreciate the power a simple looking devotee potentially has to bring me closer to krishna's lotus feet it requires a lot of grace to understand this and therefore rahasthane means in a secluded place which doesn't mean artificially leaving one's occupation one's profession and jumping to vrindavan and going around to baba ji's to various attractive sadhus and spending time trying to hear and thinking that what is this boring service going on in krishna consciousness movement in iskon this is a slow train i want to catch the super fast flight and in the super fast flight one also has a crash and one doesn't even recognize the person after some time therefore rahasthane means Prabhupada says devotees in Krishna consciousness movement enjoy not to discuss the intimate pastimes of Lord Krishna or Vrindavan in public. Shila Bhakta Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur was also a very stern critic of trying to jump to higher pastimes without qualification. Bengal was filled with super excellent singers. So there was this classically trained singer in gaudiyamatt who was a brahmachari and he would be singing ragas in so many amazing ways one hare krishna mahamantra he would stretch over 3 4 minutes and saraswati thakur would comment in that time you could have sung 10 mantras and he's going up and down up and down just for that one mantra So one day this singer was, you know, in the very early morning, two o'clock, three o'clock, Ekadashi they used to do all night kirtan. This singer was singing in front of the deities, and in a very dramatic manner singing, Rai Jago, Rai Jago. Rai means Radha Rani. So he was kind of singing, Wake up Radha Rani, Wake up Radha Rani, Rai Jago, Rai Jago. Saraswati Thakur came from behind. and he had his sanyas danda he hit him on his head and said tumi jago you wake up first don't think you are so qualified you can reach directly radha rani and therefore this is a very important topic because today the internet has destroyed the concept of adhikar previously the guru had the privilege to reveal a certain level of topic to a certain level of disciple by seeing the level of advancement by assessing 
the genuine service attitude the sincerity the transparency the character the guru held the privilege of revealing a certain level of knowledge the internet has destroyed all boundaries anybody can access any level of knowledge in krishna consciousness hear from anyone irrespective of parampara so what the internet has done is destroyed the vaishnav maryada and therefore it becomes extremely difficult to control who will hear from whom at what point of time in their bhakti so therefore rahasthane means lord chaitanya and ramanand rai spoke with each other in a secluded place which means we should discuss and hear hari katha at our level so i recommend to all the youth here rather than blindly plugging in and clicking on any website or to hear any speaker of any topic you please consult your youth preacher whoever is your guide your counselor or your preacher or whoever is guiding you in krishna consciousness under their direction you should actually study the bhakti shastras just because content is openly available doesn't mean you have the ability to digest all that content and therefore that maryada needs to be keep an in kept in mind and so at this point shila prabhupad explains in the purport that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu followed four levels of preaching krishna consciousness how many levels first to scholars like sarbhom bhattacharya and prakashananda saraswati lord chaitanya mahaprabhu spoke philosophy bhagavad gita vedanta second to devotees like roop and sanatan lord chaitanya mahaprabhu spoke bhakti principles third level with ramanand rai and sarup damodar goswami he discussed about relationship of krishna with the gopis and fourth for the general public lord chaitanya mahaprabhu did kirtan he did only kirtan what about prasad because lord chaitanya was in puri so prasad is easily available so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu also chose a place where he did not have to organize prasad he would just do kirtan and people could go and take prasad so these are the four levels at which he spoke so now lord chaitanya is sitting and hearing from ramanand rai so when he hears from ramanand rai lord chaitanya asks the question what is a verse which describes the ultimate goal of life so ramanand rai first quotes varnashram acharvat purushena parapuman which is swadharma acharan lord chaitanya says eho bahya this is not the ultimate goal of life it is external because it does not speak about direct bhakti then he says krishne karmar pane yat karo hi dasnas yat juho sidas yat lord chaitanya says eho bahya because here you are offering to krishna but you are offering something material not what krishna wants then he says swadharm tyag sarva dharman parityaj lord chaitanya says eho bahya this is also external because this will take you only till viraja then he says ज्ञान मिश्र भक्ति ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्नात्मन शोचति न कांक्षति लॉर्ड चेतन सेस ए हो बाह्य बिकॉज द अल्टीमेट डेस्टिनेशन इज नॉट डिस्क्राइब्ड इन दिस सो लॉर्ड चेतन महापुर रिजेक्ट्स ऑल ऑफ दिस स्वधर्म आचरण कृष्ण कर्मार्पण स्वधर्म त्याग एंड ज्ञान मिश्र भक्ति ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट इन कलियुगा वी हैव टू गिव सच अ श्लोका which contains sambandha abhideya and prayojan all in 
one place then only the kali yuga souls will be able to follow it then ramananda rai he speaks gyana shunya bhakti gyane prayasam odapasya namanta eva jeevante san मुखरितां भवदीय वार्ता स्थाने स्थिता श्रुति गतान्तनुवान मनोभीर ये प्रायसो जित अजित अपितै स्त्रीलोक्याम ज्ञाने प्रयासम गिविंग अप मेंटल स्पेकुलेशन ज्ञाने प्रयासम उदपस्य नमंत आई गिव अप फेथ इन माय ओन intellect namant i decide that i will accept another devotee's plan jeevanti san mukharitam bhavadiya varta and decide to surrender myself to a living person in this world i acknowledge that there is at least somebody who is smarter than me because the ego has convinced me that i am the smartest but i decide no someone is smarter than me i will accept from them sthane sthita shruti gatan tanu van mano bhir and with body mind and words i surrender to that person and when you do that ajita ajita apitai strilokyam one becomes completely conquered krishna completely takes over that person and transforms their heart and then beyond that he speaks about dasya prema aho ananta dasanam mahatvam drishta madhyame krataga sopian rajan mangalani samihase durvasa muni's glorification of ambrish maharaj then he speaks about sakya prema itham satam brahma sukhan bhutya dasyam gatanam paradevatena maya shitanam naradarakena sakham bijarhu krita punya punja how cowherd boys attained sakharas with krishna then he speaks about vatsalya premananda ki makrod brahma shreya eva mahodaya yashoda cha mahabhaga papasya stanam hare what is the glory of yashoda my nand maharaj and then he comes to the kanta prema which is the gopi's love and then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu says prabhu kahe aage koh shunite pae sukhe apurva amrita nadi vahe tomar mukhe Oh Ramanand Rai, an unprecedented river of nectar is flowing from your lips. Please speak further. Please speak further. I want to hear more. And at that time, Ramanand Rai, he says, "Rai kahe iha ami ki chowe na jani, tumi jai kahao sehi kahe ami vani." My dear Lord, I do not know what I am speaking. I am simply repeating your words. तुमार शिक्षा पढ़िए न शुकपाठ साक्षात ईश्वर तुम्हें के बुझे तुमार नाट आई एम सिंपली लाइक अ पैरेट आई एम रिपीटिंग व्हाट यू हैव टॉट मी यू आर इंस्पायरिंग मी विद इन माय हार्ट हृदय प्रेरणा कर जिहवाय कह वाणी कि कही ये भाल मंद कि छुई न जानी आई डो नॉट नो व्हाट आई एम स्पीकिंग इज करेक्ट technically sound siddhantically perfect or not you are just inspiring my heart and i am repeating that lord chaitanya says prabhu kahe mayavadi amito sanyasi bhakti tatva nahi jane mayavade bhasi and lord chaitanya says actually i am a mayavadi sanyasi i do not know what is bhakti tatva i am floating in the ocean of mayavad सर्वभौम संगे मोर मन निर्मल होइला कृष्ण भक्ति तत्व कह तहारे पूछिला आई सिंपली डिपेंडेड ऑन सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य हु रेकमेंडेड आई आस्ट हिम प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट इज कृष्ण भक्ति तत्व एंड सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य लुक डेट मी एंड सेड ते हो कहीं आमे नहीं जाने कृष्ण कथा सोवे राम आनंद जाने ते हो नहीं ए था You are asking me what is Krishna Bhakti? I do not know anything about Krishna Bhakti. Only Ramananda Rai knows. Go and ask him. Lord Chaitanya looks at Ramananda Rai with tears in his eyes. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the sannyasi. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the topmost of Brahmana. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 
who before sanyas was nimai pandit the greatest scholar of nyaya he submits himself in humility in front of the governor the politician coming from a lower caste ramanandar ay and says tomar thani aila tomar mohima shuniya tumi mor stuti kar sanyasi janiya i have come to you seeking your blessing seeking your mercy with great hopes that i will hear krishna katha from you and hearing that krishna katha will deliver me will save me will protect me and therefore out of social etiquette you are glorify me because i am a sanyasi social etiquette can come later the greater need is for my soul to be delivered i have to soak my soul in hearing krishna katha from your lips that's a more urgent need than for you to respect me as a sanyasi and therefore he says ki babi pra ki banyasi shudra ke ne noy jai krishna tatva vet sai guru hoy a classic often quoted verse from the chaitanya charitamrita which underlines the principle of guru tatva प्रेम धन बिना व्यर्थ दरिद्र जीवन दोष कोरी वेतन मोरे देह प्रेम धन विदाउट प्रेम वी आर दरिद्र एंड हेन्स प्लीज एंगेज अस एज योर सर्वेंट्स माई डियर लॉर्ड दैट पर्सन हु एंगेज अस एज कृष्ण सेवक कृष्ण दास इज द गुरु एंड वन हु नोज दिस तत्व वेदर ही इज अ ब्राह्मण और फ्रॉम एनी अदर बैकग्राउंड he is qualified to actually be a guru lord chaitanya mahaprabhu acknowledging ramanand rai as the guru is declaring for all time to come that krishna consciousness is not the privilege of a certain community krishna consciousness is not the birth right of someone with a certain level of skills krishna consciousness is bestowed upon those who are qualified with their meekness humility sincerity gratitude with their transparent character it is given as a gift by the parampara to someone who is qualified and anybody who is qualified to be krishna conscious irrespective of background of the family background of the caste religion etc they are eligible to be a guru lord chaitanya mahaprabhu then asks now you have spoken about kanta prema about the relationship of krishna with the gopis is there something higher than this and ramanandra i says i never imagined somebody will ask beyond this and then he starts describing about the glories of shrimati radha rani in brindavan and as described by lord chaitanya mahaprabhu in the rath yatra when he is dancing in front of lord jagannath brindavan govardhan jamuna pulinavan sai kunje rasa dikalila sai prajer brajajan mata pita bandhu gan bad chitra ke mane pasarila in the mood of shrimati radharani lord chaitanya mahaprabhu saying oh krishna i have been waiting for you for so long in brindavan but you never came here and finally after 100 years when i see you in kurukshetra you are in a different form you are in the form of a kshatriya warrior you are not in the form of a lover you refused to come back to vrindavan you had given a promise you will come back that promise is acting as the key that is acting as the lock and because of that lock we are not able to leave this house of vrindavan which is on fire vrindavan govardhan yamuna pulinavan sai kunje rasa dikalila you have forgotten all of vrindavan govardhan yamuna the 12 forests and all the places where we performed rasa lila sai brajer brajajan mata pita bandhugan you forgotten the brajavasis you forgotten mother yashoda you forgotten nand maharaj bada chitra ke mane pasarila how come you could forget all of this nagani apana dukh dekhi brajeshwari mukh at least forget about me but what about yashoda mai can't you see the dark lines under her eyes because of the rivers of tears which have flown down for so many years my dear krishna 
प्लीज रिटर्न बैक टू वृंदावन सो श्रीमती राधारानी इज इन दैट मूड एंड रामानंद राय इज डिस्क्राइबिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दीज वंडरफुल पास टाइम्स एंड देन लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु फाइनली सेस जैसे सुनिलो तैसे देख लो तो मार महिमा राधा कृष्ण प्रेम रस ज्ञानेर तुम्हें सीमा ओ रामानंद राय मेनी टाइम्स वी हियर अबाउट समवन एंड वी हैव एक्सपेक्टेशंस बट मोस्ट ऑफन द एक्चुअल एक्सपीरियंस इज बिलो द एक्सपेक्टेशन बट इन योर केस माई एक्सपीरियंस इज बियॉन्ड माई एक्सपेक्टेशन राधा कृष्ण प्रेम रस ज्ञानेर तुम ही सीमा यू आर द समिट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड एक्सपीरियंसिंग एंड एक्सप्रेसिंग राधा कृष्ण प्रेम रस एंड देन लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु आस्ट वेरियस यू नो स्मॉल स्मॉल क्वेश्चन अबाउट हु इज द टॉप मोस्ट डिवोटी हु इज द टॉप मोस्ट वेल्दी पर्सन वन हु हैज love for radha and krishna what is the biggest unhappiness separation from devotees ma manaradya dukkhartha kutumba sakta manasa satsangrahito martyo vriddha seva parichuta there are four symptoms of fortune first to get the opportunity to worship krishna second to understand golok vrindavan as one's goal third to have satsang of devotees fourth is to have devotees more advanced than us whom we can serve these are four fortunes if we have this we should consider ourselves extremely fortunate who is the liberated person the pure devotee and so what is the biggest treasure he says association of devotees what should one constantly remember the lord's holy name qualities and past times what should The, where should the living entity live he says brajbhumi what should be the topics to listen to the loving affairs of radha and krishna what is the most worshipable object he says the holy name of radha krishna the hare krishna maha mantra etavan eva loke smin pumsa dharma parasmrita bhakti yogo bhagavati tan nama grahanaadi bi and in this way Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then reveals his form as Radha and Krishna to Ramanand Rai, and in our Chopati Temple you will see that painting which is there on the Lord Chaitanya side. And then Lord Chaitanya tells Ramanand Rai that I have revealed all my confidential secrets to you. Please do not reveal to others. And the talks between us is like talks between two madmen. अमी एक बातुल तुम्हें द्वितीय या बातुल अत एव तुम आय अमाय हो समातुल आई एम वन मैडमैन यू आर अनदर मैडमैन देर फोर वी वेर एट द सेम लेवल एंड वी कुड डिस्कस दिस पास टाइम्स संक्षेपे को हिलो रामानंदे रिलन विस्तारी वर्णित नारी सहस्र वदन कविराज गोस्वामी से दिस रामानंद मिलन i am explaining very briefly otherwise i'll require millions of mouths sohaje chaitanya charitra ghana dugdha pur ramanand charitra tahe khand prachur lord chaitanya mahaprabhu's past times are like condensed milk ramanand rai meeting lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is like khand which is sugar candy being mixed and when they both start speaking hari katha radha krishna lila tate karpur milan bhagyavan jai sai kore aswadan when they start speaking hari katha it is like mixing of camphor and one who drinks this will always be satisfied ramanand rai mor koti namaskar yar mukhe koila prabhu rasira vistar and in this way he says i offer my millions of obeisances to ramanand rai through whose mouth all of this rasas were described in great detail so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu from vidyanagar goes to gautami ganga and then he comes to trimanda and then to dundiram tirtha 
and comes to Mallikarjuna Tirtha in Sri Shaila. Then he comes to Ahobala Narsinga and then Siddhavata. And then he comes to the Brahmana and this Brahmana is constantly chanting the names of Rama. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spends some time and when he leaves and comes back to that Brahmana's house, the Brahmana is chanting the name of Krishna. And Lord Chaitanya says, hey, you were chanting Ram Nam, now you are chanting Krishna. He says, from the time you came, after seeing you, I could not stop chanting Krishna's name only. And then Lord Chaitanya comes to Skandakshetra, then Trimatha, where he sees the Vishnu deity of Trivikrama. Then he comes to Vridhachalam, where Lord Shiva is being worshipped. And then he comes to a village where a group of Buddhists confront Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they offer arguments and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu defeats all of their arguments. Nija Nija Shastrod Gahe Sabai Prachanda Sarva Matadushi Prabhu Kare Khanda Khanda Prabhupada says we should not only have faith in scriptures but we should also know our philosophy in such a way that we should be able to defeat the opposing arguments with proper logic and reason. Prabhupada and Gurudas Prabhu and others came to Amritsar and there was a Vedanta Sammelan and everybody was saying everything is one, everything is one, everything is one. Prabhupada got up and walked away. Gurudas Prabhu stopped Prabhupada and said you are walking away. You are the next speaker. Prabhupada said the level at which they are speaking even you can defend. You are qualified. And Prabhupada left. So Gurudas Prabhu had the stage. And then he took the mic and he said, Everybody is saying everything is one, everything is one. My question is, is stool on the street same as Rasgulla the sweet? When he gave this example, there was a shock from the audience. They were all old traditional sadhus. They got so shocked, they came to Prabhupada and complained to Prabhupada. Your American disciple is telling us to eat stool on the street. <laughs> Prabhupada called Gurudas Prabhu, said, It is what you told to eat stool on the street. He says, No, Prabhupada, I just gave an example that stool on the street cannot be same as rasgulla, which is a sweet. I was trying to counteract the argument that everything is one. So therefore I gave the, the stool and the rasgulla example. Prabhupada turned to the various sadhus and told them, my American disciples give very graphic examples. <laughs> you don't feel offended. I will take care of him. And then these sadhus left. When the sadhus left, Prabhupada turned to Gurudas Prabhu and said, what was that? Stool on the street and rasgulla the sweet, excellent example. <laughs> so one should know how to defend the philosophy when there is attack based on tarka or logic. And at that time, when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu defeated all of these, you know, logicians with his arguments, Prabhupada says all the preachers engaged in the service of Iskand should be very expert in putting forward strong arguments and defeating all types of atheists. And when, they, when he did that, they were very upset and they brought inauspicious items on a plate and offered it to Lord Chaitanya. Suddenly an eagle flew and took it on top and threw the inauspicious items away and that metal plate came and fell on the head of the atheist's head and he fell on the ground. Murchita, which is, he, was, he lost consciousness. So all the disciples came to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and started begging him, Tumito Ishwara Sakshat Kshama Aparad Jyao Amar Guru Karaha Prasad Please deliver our Guru. Lord Chaitanya looked at them and said, Prabhu Kahe Sabakaha Krishna Krishna Hari Guru Karne Kahe Krishna Nama Uchakuri All of you go to your Guru's ear and chant loudly, Krishna Krishna and all of them went and they started shouting in the Guru's ear, 
तुम सवार गुरु करने को हे सबे कृष्ण राम हरि चेतना पाया आचार्य बोले हरि हरि दैट आचार्य गॉट अप एंड स्टार्टेड शाउटिंग हरि हरि सो इन दिस वे लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु डिलीवर्ड दोज हु वेर एथिस्ट देर एंड देन लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु कम्स टू विष्णु कांची फर्स्ट शिव कांची एंड विष्णु कांची ही गोस टू तिरुपति एंड तिरुमला देन ही कम्स टू पान नरसिंहा मंगलगिरी कम्स टू शिव कांची कांचीपुरम कन्वर्टेड द डिवोटीज ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा इन टू वैष्णवास कम्स टू विष्णु कांची सीज द लक्ष्मी नार नारायण डीटी स्टेज टू डेज देन कम्स टू त्रिमलाया देन ही कम्स टू त्रिकाल हस्ती विच इज श्री काल हस्ती where there is vayu linga shiva which is 22 miles east of tirupati then he comes to pakshi tirtha tirukadi kundam vedagirishwar lord shiva 9 miles southeast of chimlipat in vedachalam then he comes to vridha loka where shweta varaha and akash linga dities 1 mile south of an oasis and then he comes to siyali bhairavi mandir of goddess durga in tanjore district and then he comes to river kaveri vaya tiruchirappalli comes to go samaja lord shiva vedavana amritalinga devasthana lord vishnu's dt kumbakarna kapala and shiva kshetra where there are 12 shiva 4 vishnu and 1 brahma temples comes to kumbakonam 24 miles northeast of tanjore and shiva kshetra then he comes to papanashan two mile two places with the same name then he comes to shri ranga kshetra or shri rangam here he stays for the four months at the house of venkat bhatt whose son's name is gopal bhatt and so lord chaitanya has a detailed conversation where lord chaitanya mahaprabhu in a joking way establishes how lakshmi devi could not enter the ras lila because she was not willing to follow in the footsteps of the gopis kasyano bhave chata deva vidmahe tavangri renu sparshadhikara yad vanchaya shri lalana charat tapo vihaya kaman suchiram dridabrataah the nagapatnis are praying to lord krishna how come kaliya our husband got this mercy of abhishek of krishna's dust of lotus feet tavangri renu sparsha adhikara yad vanchaya desiring krishna's lotus feet desiring entrance into ras lila lalana acharat tapo she has been performing austerities for such a long time but still she was not successful and so in this way describing the madhurya sweetness of goloka to be of a different flavor than the aishwarya of vaikuntha lord chaitanya mahaprabhu had an excellent reciprocation with venkata bhatta and his family in sri ranga kshetra then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu comes to rishab hill which is known as anagada malay parvat where lord narayan lord rishab departed in nearby forest and it is 12 miles north of madurai city then he comes to sri shaila where lord shiva dressed like a brahman gave arms to the lord then he comes to kamakoshti puri then he comes to sadan madurai shaiva kshetra where there are rameshwaram and sundareshwara meenakshi temple and uh, emperor kulakshetra and anantavana pandya they spent time here and he meets with ramadas vipra who is lamenting not eating in spite of feeding lord chaitanya at 3:30 in the afternoon he is still fasting lord chaitanya says why you are not eating and he says sita was touched by ravana how can i eat lord chaitanya says no the agni puran is describing that maya sita was taken by ravana the original sita was never touched then the brahmana gets convinced then he eats then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu goes to durvashana which is tirupalani and mahendra shaila hill and there at the end of this hill is a city known as tiruchandur then he comes to rameshwara dhanush tirtha and listens to the kurma purana and then he comes back to madurai and he brings the agni purana manuscripts and gives it to the ramadas vipra 
and proves that yes it is the maya sita then he comes towards the tamraparni river in pandya desh then he comes to chiyadala or cheratala where lord ramachandra and lakshmana stayed tilakanchi tenkasi a city of lord shiva and comes to the place of gajendra mokshan then he comes to pannakudi where lord ramachandra and sita spent time 30 miles south of tirunelveli then he comes to chengannur again located in state of kerala where lord ram and lakshman spent time and comes to sri vaikuntha where 4 miles north of Altir- tirunagarai alwar and 16 miles southeast of tirunelveli comes to malay parvat and offers prayers to agastya muni and then comes to kanyakumari then amli tala and mallar desha where bhattaharis came and kidnapped krishnadas kal krishnadas lord chaitanya goes and pleads with the bhattaharis and brings kal krishnadas back and then he comes to tamala kartika temple of lord kartik and he comes to vetapani where lord ramachandra's deity is replaced by lord shiva he comes to the bank of the payaswini river the temple of adikesha is there and he finds a chapter of brahma samhita lord chaitanya comes to ananta padmanabh temple stays for two days comes to janardan mandir and he stays which is near the varkala railway station for two days bank of payaswini river temple of shankar narayan then he comes to shringeri math and then he comes to matsya tirtha comes to udupi he has a meeting with the tattvavadis where he describes about how the idea of varnashrama which they have is different from what pure devotional service is all about comes to falguna tirtha tritakupa panchapsara tirtha gokarna dwaipayani surparaka tirtha then lord chaitanya comes to kolapur in maharashtra where he sees the beautiful deity of maha lakshmi then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu comes and kolapur his holiness radhanath swami is coming on 24th and 25th of march to install deities of radha krishna without asking the kolapur devotees i am inviting all of you <laughs> because we are taking care of the cooking <laughs> so then we have lord chaitanya mahaprabhu coming to pandarpur and there he meets rang shri rangapuri and he hears about how vishwarupa had departed stays for 9 to 11 days then comes to the krishna vena river where thakur bilwa mangal stayed on and he finds krishna karanamrata there comes to the banks of river tapi then mahishmati pura dhanus tirtha rishyamukha dandakaranya pampa panchavati nasik trambaka sapta godavari and then vaya vidyanagar lord chaitanya mahaprabhu comes back to jagannath puri dham ki in this way what lord chaitanya mahaprabhu took two years to perform this whole parikrama we have covered in 10 minutes so therefore lord chaitanya mahaprabhu when he returns back the first thing sarabhom bhattacharya asks him what was the highlight of your south india tour because i spoke around 77 places name which is the place and which is the experience which touched you the most lord chaitanya said my meeting with ramanand rai was the highlight of my entire trip because the essence of visiting a holy place is to hear hari katha and sarvam bhattacharya says i knew that that's why i recommended you to go and meet ramanand rai and spend time with him so therefore you have come to holy place and the best way to spend time in the holy place is to hear hari katha in the association of devotees which all of you are so wonderfully doing and i am grateful to each one of you for coming for this iys yatra and becoming part of this wonderful sangha and i hope and pray that those of you who are chanting 16 rounds continue to improve the quality of your chanting 16 rounds some days you try to chant more than 16 rounds 
and those who are not chanting 16 rounds you please come to the chanting of 16 rounds and follow the ekadashi vrata and follow the four regulative principles and if you are struggling with either the chanting or the following of principles you have the opportunity to pray to the deities pray to the acharyas pray to the holy places the power of prayer will be very powerful to give you the strength to maintain your resilience in the practice of bhakti maya is very strong maya will not spare anybody young or old maya will have its own ways of attacking and therefore prabhupada said my greatest complaint about my devotees is they are not sufficiently afraid of maya and therefore we come to these holy places away from your jobs away from your colleges away from your regular activities so that for 3 4 days you learn the art of how to pray how to pray how to pray helplessly depending on the lord daivi esh gunamai mama maya duratyaya maya is duratyay maya cannot be conquered by our efforts we only have to take shelter of prayer and krishna will intervene and remove the maya javanika and then we will be able to see the son of krishna behind the clouds of maya and i am grateful to all the ivys youth preachers from iskon chopati who have gone out of their way to make such a detailed schedule and organize this entire activity of the yatra which has required a lot of logistics a lot of planning a lot of getting into various kinds of anxieties to make sure that devotees are comfortable so i thank each one of the preachers in ivys chopati for your efforts and to all of you for coming here in large numbers to transform your consciousness and to elevate your faith in krishna consciousness thank you all very much hare krishna